How are we supposed to tell people about the wet and wild highlight if you keep barking? Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Ashley Mova, and I'm so excited to be doing this video because I have been looking for this product for what feels like, honestly, forever. I'm gonna be doing a series called Buy or Bye, where I review a product and tell you if it was ultimately worth the purchase in my opinion and my very first product in this series. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Can someone please tell me why it is so hard to find this product in store? I live in Los Angeles and I've been to at least 30 different drugstores within the last year and I could not find this anywhere. And I'm too much of a cheap ass to buy it online because God forbid I pay the $5 shipping fee. I originally wanted the um, I think it's Precious Petal shade, but I found Crown of My Canopy, which looks like it's the darker shade. I just could not give it up because when I first saw it, I kid you not, my heart, it sank into my stomach. And it was the last one on the shelf, so I was like, I don't even give a shit about what shade it is. I'm buying it. So in today's video, I'm going to swatch it and compare it to two other popular highlighters. And let me first open it up. They honestly want you to break your nails when you're opening these packages. Okay, finally open. Oh my God, this is just like, it almost is bringing a tear to my eye because I've been waiting for this for so long. That is a really pretty color. I really wanted the lighter one, but I can make it work as a blush topper or something. Ooh, that is really pretty. It is really reflective. Let me add some like more on top because I love an intense highlight. Okay, yeah, that is really reflective. I'm gonna compare it to two other highlighters I love that are really, really popular. My main chick, the Mary Lou, and my side chick, Becca Champagne Pop. I'm gonna do Champagne Pop first, and uh, I wanted to say that they were similar, but no, you definitely can see the difference in the two. I'm gonna swatch it right next to crown of my canopy or whatever. Oh yeah, Champagne Pop is way more intense. Now swatching the Mary Lou. Oh yeah, Crown of My Canopy is definitely the darkest, and then I'd say Champagne Pop, and then um, Mary Lou. Let me try it on my cheek. So let's see how it looks. Um, I'm not really sure what that just did. I'm gonna do another layer because I'm psycho. There is definitely glow there, but I do like how reflective it is. I'll put Champagne Pop on this cheek just for comparison. Okay, I have like severe astigmatism in this eye, so I really can't see what's happening. I'm feeling more of the champagne pop right now, but I think on the viewfinder, the crown of my canopy is showing up more. I don't know, like I can't really tell what looks more intense. It was five bucks. I mean, this is definitely one of the best drugstore highlighters that I've ever used. You live in Los Angeles and you found Precious Petals in store, please let me know where you found it because I want to get my hands on that one. I've been dying to find it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any ideas on what kind of videos I should do for my next video and please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.